Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. You all right? Very well. Wish I felt the same. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Just thank you. Leave me alone, Don't you? worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Uh, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Uh, what am I going to do? You're going to suffer. <laughs> and life's going to go on. That's the truth of it. I'm going to lie to you. Morgan. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time.
I've had enough of this goddamn crap. Oh, yeah. That'll keep me going all right. It's okay, girl. Get going, girl. partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all mm. focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well i say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I'd best keep moving. There you go. Let's go, girl. Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. No przepraszam, co pan robi w moim English? domu? English? Uh, speak English? Me? Uh, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Ah, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, das, uh, uh, the no, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Uh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Where is he? Oh, no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. 
Where is the money? Gold! Dollars! Nie rób tego! I have nothing! Dumbass. Look what the cat dragged in. What you want? Thank you. 
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. No, I usually do. I know. I know. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.
not that. Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. No, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. I'm working, <coughs> working as hard as I can. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm, 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 do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. I wouldn't pay up have been a little easier. How's that dead looking now? Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Pay the money. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
can do. Yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Sure. You saved me. Oh, okay. that was bad. Sure. Oh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You 
finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. We're close now. Just a little further. for all your help. You're a good man. I'm glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Yes? Well, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. 
I'll owe you. You already owe me. service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. But ain't stealing if it's already stolen. So I've been told.
Okay, girl. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. 
the path to truth. Well, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase! Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy! Goddamn lunatic! You think I'm playing him? You are! That's enough, Arthur! Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help. Yeah. That gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm. I'm gonna. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. I'm gonna... I don't want to live. 
live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. None of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. 
thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like luckiest man alive and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Can I get a few cents? 